வணக்கம் நீங்கள் இணைந்திருப்பது வீரகேசரி இணையதளத்துடன் that the end of military conflict is the beginning of a long journey to human security nations may be secure your borders may be secure but citizens must also be secure and that is the purpose uh, as a general uh, i might uh, remind this audience there is also we are fortunate to have the commandant of the sri lankan staff college here today uh, the famous uh, military thinker of Europe, Clausewitz, had said, what is the purpose of war? What is the purpose of battles? Is it victory? Then it will be a very short-sighted attainment. The purpose of wars and battle is to bring about peace and not just victory. So we have any number of examples in Middle East, Israel, Arab, and many other. Where brilliant victories have been scored, they haven't brought peace. And the Sri Lankan state, in its history, has now, is at the cusp of a historic moment, where it has won an outstanding military campaign. As I was telling some people in the morning, in India we have watched with great admiration the changes that have come about the Sri Lankan armed forces. in the 20 years from what they were to where they are today as a modern young ready to fight and get that vector the 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 urge to win the combat action so the armed forces have done a brilliant job it is now the role of the statesman and the citizen to draw out of that victory the peace which we have all sought for so long. And how do we go about it? Thank you, General Rahman. I am a rebuilding of society in Sri Lanka. But Because in the non-traditional security studies that I conduct in another institution in Delhi, called the Delhi Policy Group, we have a chair. on non traditional security and one of the distinguished chairs is going to be a speaker today mr george wargis who is a who was an editor of great distinction of major newspapers like indian express who was a maxi sai award winner and things like that ultimately security is that of the citizen and even in india today uh we have had a number of polls before elections and we asked the pollsters and journals why don't you add when you ask the citizen give us your 10 most greatest concerns and why don't we add national security to it every time the indian citizen is placed national security as the bottom of the list of his concerns not because he doesn't care he cares but he is very confident that india is strong we are not going to be invaded we are not going to lose territory we are some of the finest armed forces for him security is not military for him security is law and order corruption health and education the future of his children employment if that is not there then he is not secure and which is true to you and me too and that is why we need to look at what does peace mean and how are we to go after this tremendous historic moment of a military victory in sri lanka our remarks to a close thank you மேலதிகமான செய்திகளை உடனுக்குடன் தெரிந்து கொள்ள வீரகேசரி இணையதளத்துடன் இணைந்திருந்தார் வணக்கம்